Okay, so we often get asked, you know, how are negatives used in the real world? Well, um, this, this phrase, the real world, comes up all the time. Uh, we, yes, we know that class and school and math is actually part of the real world. But I think what they're referring to is how could you use this concept of negative numbers outside of the classroom? Um, I think a really common example is, uh, of course, temperature. You want to read the temperature, you often get a negative degree reading. Of course, we don't need negative numbers in temperature, but it's a very useful tool to understand how cold or warm it is outside. And we also have this idea that to describe atoms, which is the makeup of our universe, we use this idea of positive charges, protons, and negative charges, electrons. And this helps us describe what our universe is made up of. Um, and another example is finance. And because, well, I mean, if you're in the black, you have a positive value. If you're in the red, you're negative. You're losing money. And this actually came up the other day uh, in my grandma's cell phone bill. So her bill was something like $80, $85. Uh, but she didn't realize that. So her bill is $85, and she has to pay it. So she pays, I think it was, uh, let's say, $90. So she paid too much. Um, and this happens quite frequently. So she gets a statement that says her balance is negative $5. And what they're trying to say is, well, the balance is what you owe us. Well, she owe, doesn't owe them, not only does she not owe them anything, but they owe her $5, right? Her balance is negative $5. But instead of paying her, <coughs> when her next bill comes around, her next bill is again, let's say $85, it'll say she owes $80. What they're doing is saying, well, you owe us 85 but you've already, your balance is negative 5 so you really only owe $80. So this idea of having a negative balance is very useful in finance, uh, especially when you pay more than you owe. Or, unfortunately, sometimes when you give away more than you have. Um, if you have a credit card and you have $100, or not, well, I'll say a $1,000 limit on your credit card, but you get really excited and you spend, let's say, something close to that, 1100 That can happen easily over time. So then, unfortunately, the credit card company um, is mad at you and it's going to charge you all kinds of fees for going over your limit. But also, if you look at your balance, now your balance is not referring to what you owe, but what you have. And then you, your balance would equal something like negative 100, which is unfortunate, because now you owe the 100, and they would probably charge you more for going over your limit. So this idea of negative numbers, is it necessary? Um, not always, but it really helps with finance. It's really useful for balances. It helps describe what's happening.